My name is Mike Sevigny from Taurus Media Labs, and in this video, I'm going to show you the different ways that Canvas SDK allows you to preview your stereoscopic 360 project. So in this project, I have some stereoscopic 360 footage, as well as some 3D text that I've placed in my scene here. So by default, Canvas SDK loads the anaglyph preview, but we're going to start from the top of the list. So let's start with cross-eyed view. So the cross-eyed view is an old school way of previewing your 3D media. In order to see it properly, you have to cross your eyes and try to blend these two dots here into one in the center. And once you have this dot in focus, you should be able to see a 3D representation of this scene in the center here. You can learn more about the cross-eyed view in Canvas SDK's user manual. Now the next one is Anaglyph 3D. Anaglyph 3D requires anaglyph glasses. Anaglyph glasses have a red lens and a cyan lens, allowing you to preview this in 3D. So if you have your anaglyph glasses on right now, you should see this in 3D. The next preview is anaglyph 3D edges. Now obviously you can use your anaglyph glasses to preview this in 3D, but this view is more meant to help you find your zero sphere, which we'll talk about in later videos. The next one is side-by-side -side 3D. Now this preview is intended for 3D monitors. So in your preferences, under video preview, if you enable mercury transmit and select your 3D monitor output here, you'll be able to preview this in your 3D monitor. You'll want to make sure that this is on right here, primary viewer, so that this preview is going to the monitor and it doesn't switch every time you change the focus of the composition. And you'll also want always preview this view to be on. And what that does is, if I RAM preview my composition, it'll always preview this view here so that I can see my RAM preview on my 3D monitor. Now the next view is top-down 3D squeezed. And this view is intended for 3D TVs. So it's the same thing as the 3D monitors. If you have a 3D TV connected to your Mercury Transmit, then make sure that these two are on and you'll be able to preview your project on your 3D TV. The next one is right eye only. And this view is useful when you're trying to position something specifically in 3D space. If you've created a 3D mat and you want to make sure that it's aligned with this wall here or this person, then you can make sure that they're aligned in both eyes before you start masking. We'll also cover that in later videos. And finally, the last one is difference mat. And the difference mat is also intended to help you find your zero sphere. Essentially what it is, is it's showing you the difference between your right eye and left eye. So anywhere where they don't match, you'll get an edge around your elements. Now although Anaglyph 3D is the default preview, we recommend that you use a passive 3D monitor or 3D TV for the most accurate results and comfortable experience. And those are all the ways that Canvas SDK allows you to preview your stereoscopic 360 project. You can download the trial on aescripts.com today and try it for yourself.